Nerja, a deity of profound significance, his name echoes through the annals of time resonating with the vibrancy of bravery and justice. He stands as a central figure in Chinese mythology, revered as the divine child warrior and protector of the innocent. Known for his youthful defiance and unyielding spirit, Nerja's identity varies across different tales, each reflecting his multifaceted role in the pantheon. Nerja is celebrated for his courageous essence and his pivotal role in defending the world from evil. As the Lotus Prince and the Heavenly Marshal, he bridges the divine with the earthly, battling the forces of darkness that threaten peace and righteousness. His domain extends beyond mere combat. He embodies the protective and rebellious spirit, often playing a crucial role in the safety and well-being of both gods and mortals. Join us as we explore the legacy of Nerja, a deity whose influence permeates the foundations of justice and protection. This is the story of Nerja, the Chinese warrior god, the defender of humanity, and the revered divine protector. Nerja's story begins with an unusual birth that set the stage for his extraordinary life. His parents, General Li Jing and Lady Yin, were respected followers of Taoist teachings, living in a time when the boundary between the mortal and divine realms was thin. One night, Lady Yin had a vivid dream. A celestial being descended from the heavens, glowing with a soft, ethereal light, and handed her a luminous pearl, saying, This child will bring both great joy and great sorrow. Months later, Lady Yin's pregnancy appeared to be progressing slower than normal. So slow, in fact, that it reached an unprecedented total of three years and six months. When the time came, she did not give birth to a baby as expected, but to a large ball of flesh. The sight shocked and terrified everyone present. General Li Jing, believing it to be a demonic curse, drew his sword in desperation and sliced the ball open. To everyone's astonishment, from the split ball emerged a fully formed boy, radiant and extraordinary. This boy was Nerja. From the moment of his birth, it was clear he was no ordinary child. He could walk and talk like a much older child. His energy seemed boundless, and he possessed an unmistakable divine aura. Unlike other children, he exuded a sense of purpose and power, setting him apart and hinting at his future destiny. Nerja's early years were filled with incidents that demonstrated his extraordinary abilities. One day, as he played by the river, he encountered two demons who sought to harm him. Without hesitation, Nerja confronted them, using his innate strength and agility to defeat the demons and protect his village. Word of his bravery spread quickly, and soon, tales of the divine child warrior were whispered throughout the land. Despite his remarkable powers, Nerja was still a child, curious and playful. He often roamed the countryside, exploring forests and rivers, and discovering the wonders of nature. His adventures brought both joy and trouble, as his impulsive actions sometimes led to unintended consequences. Yet each challenge he faced only served to strengthen his resolve and hone his skills. Nerja's parents, particularly his father Li Jing, struggled to understand and control their son's extraordinary nature. Li Jing, a strict and disciplined general, often clashed with Nerja's rebellious spirit. He imposed harsh rules in an attempt to curb Nerja's impulsive behavior, but these efforts were largely in vain. Nerja's mother, Lady Yin, on the other hand, nurtured him with love and compassion, understanding that her son was destined for greatness beyond their comprehension. As Nerja grew, his powers became more pronounced. He could summon wind and fire, control water, and wield weapons with unmatched skill. The Windfire Wheels, along with the Universe Ring and the Red Armillary Sash, later became his signature weapons, symbols of his divine heritage and indomitable spirit. Nerja's early years were a time of discovery and conflict, both within himself and with the world around him. He struggled to reconcile his human emotions with his godly responsibilities, often feeling like an outsider in both realms. Yet through these trials, Nerja forged his identity as a protector of the innocent and a challenger of injustice, setting the stage for the epic battles and heroic deeds that would define his legend. Thus began the journey of Nerja, a journey filled with trials and triumphs, rebellion and redemption, 
as he navigated the complex interplay of mortal and divine, forging his path as one of the most beloved and enduring figures in Chinese mythology. Nerja is often depicted with a striking and youthful appearance that reflects both his divine heritage and his warrior spirit. Nerja has a youthful, almost childlike face that exudes both innocence and a mischievous charm. His expressions often convey a sense of defiance and determination, capturing his rebellious nature. His eyes are often depicted as fiery and intense, glowing with an inner light that symbolizes his boundless energy and divine power. These eyes reflect his readiness to confront any challenge and his unwavering commitment to justice. One of Nerja's most distinctive features is the red sash he wears around his waist. This sash, given to him by his mentor Taiyi Jenren, is a powerful weapon in its own right. It symbolizes his undying spirit and his connection to the divine. Nerja wields a golden hoop known as the Universe Ring. This ring is often depicted either in his hand or hovering around him, radiating a powerful glow. The Universe Ring represents his exceptional martial prowess and his ability to control the forces of the universe. In addition to the red sash around his waist, Nerja is also seen with a long, flowing red sash that he uses as a weapon. This sash can extend and wrap around enemies, showcasing his control over chaos and his tactical mind. Nerja's feet are strapped to his windfire wheels, magical wheels that allow him to travel with incredible speed and agility. These wheels leave trails of fire as he moves, highlighting his swift and dynamic nature. Nerja's clothing is often depicted in vibrant colors, primarily reds and golds, which signify his divine heritage and his fiery spirit. His attire is both regal and practical, suitable for both combat and his role as a protector. Nerja is often shown in dynamic, action-oriented poses that reflect his readiness for battle and his energetic personality. Whether standing defiantly or in the midst of combat, his posture conveys strength and agility. Surrounding Nerja is a divine aura that sets him apart from mortals. This aura often takes the form of a glowing light or an ethereal mist, emphasizing his celestial origins and his role as a divine warrior. Overall, Nerja's appearance is a blend of youthful vigor, divine power, and warrior readiness making him an iconic and unforgettable figure in Chinese mythology. Aside from his striking appearance, Nerja was also known for his significant powers and roles that were crucial within Chinese mythology. His powers are deeply tied to combat, protection, and justice, reflecting his broad influence over both the mortal world and divine realms. Nerja is a masterful warrior with exceptional combat skills. Wielding his many weapons and magical artifacts, Nerja was able to control and subdue the forces of chaos, handling multiple threats simultaneously. His unmatched combat abilities allowed him to defeat formidable foes and protect the innocent. His magical sash can extend, constrict, and bind enemies, while the windfire wheels enable Nerja to travel at incredible speeds, both on land and through the air. The windfire wheels leave trails of fire, showcasing his swiftness and agility. This power allows Nerja to respond quickly to calls for help, move between realms with ease, and also control the very elements of wind and fire. After his self-sacrifice and subsequent rebirth, which we'll talk about later, Nerja gains an immortal body crafted from lotus flowers. This rebirth not only makes him stronger, but also symbolizes purity and renewal, giving him a divine resilience. In addition, Nerja possesses superhuman strength and agility, which allow him to perform incredible feats in battle. It is said that his superhuman strength allowed him to summon additional arms and heads, giving a total of six arms and three heads when used to its fullest. This physical prowess makes him a formidable opponent. One of Nerja's primary responsibilities is to protect the innocent and the vulnerable, particularly kids, making him the god of children. He is a guardian who stands against evil forces, ensuring the safety and well-being of those who cannot defend themselves. Nerja frequently battles demons, monsters, and other malevolent beings. His role as a warrior involves confronting and defeating these threats to maintain harmony and order in the mortal and divine realms. 
Nairjah's rebellious spirit drives him to challenge authority and question established norms when they conflict with justice and righteousness. He fights against oppression and tyranny, embodying the spirit of defiance against unjust powers. Despite his rebellious nature, Nerja's actions also highlight his role as the god of filial piety and redemption. Filial piety is the virtue of exhibiting love and respect for one's parents, elders, and ancestors, particularly within the context of Confucian, Chinese Buddhist, and Taoist ethics. His self-sacrifice to atone for the death of Ao Bing and his eventual reconciliation with his father, Li Jing, emphasize his dedication to family and his journey toward redemption. In stories such as Journey to the West, Nairja collaborates with other heroes like Sun Wukong and the monk Xuanzang. His responsibilities extend to supporting and aiding his companions in their quests, showcasing his loyalty and teamwork. Nairja's powers and responsibilities intertwine to create a complex character who embodies the ideals of bravery, justice, and resilience. His journey from a rebellious youth to a revered deity reflects his growth and the enduring impact of his legacy in Chinese mythology. As a divine warrior, Nerja's personality is a complex and multifaceted blend of divine traits and human emotions. Nerja is renowned for his rebellious spirit and defiance against authority. He often challenges established norms and questions unjust practices. This trait is evident from his early confrontations with powerful figures like the Dragon King, and his own father, Li Jing. Nerja's defiance is not born of arrogance, but of a deep sense of justice and righteousness. Nerja's bravery is one of his defining characteristics. He faces formidable foes and insurmountable odds without hesitation, driven by a strong sense of duty to protect the innocent and uphold justice. His willingness to sacrifice himself to save his family and village exemplifies his courageous nature. Nirja's determination and resilience are central to his character. Whether facing powerful demons, celestial forces, or personal challenges, Nirja never gives up. His journey from a misunderstood child to a revered deity is a testament to his indomitable will and perseverance. Despite his fierce and rebellious exterior, Nirja has a compassionate heart. He is deeply committed to protecting the innocent and vulnerable often putting himself in harm's way to ensure their safety. His loyalty extends to his family, friends, and those he considers worthy of his trust and protection. Nerja's youthful appearance is matched by a playful and mischievous side. He enjoys exploring the world, testing his limits, and engaging in activities that reflect his boundless energy and curiosity. This playful nature can sometimes lead to unintended consequences, but it also endears him to those around him. Nirja's actions are driven by a strong moral compass. He fights against oppression, tyranny, and evil with unwavering conviction. His sense of justice often puts him at odds with established authorities, but it also earns him respect and admiration from those who value righteousness. Nirja's dual nature as both a divine being and a mortal son creates inner conflict. He struggles to reconcile his human emotions with his divine responsibilities, often feeling like an outsider in both realms. This internal struggle adds depth to his character and highlights his journey toward self-acceptance. Nirja's story is also one of personal growth and redemption. His journey from a rebellious youth to a respected deity involves significant self-reflection and transformation. He seeks forgiveness for his past actions and strives to earn the respect and love of his father, Li Jing, and others who doubted him. In summary, Nerja's personality centers around strength, courage, defiance, compassion, and growth. His complex character resonates with themes of justice, redemption, and the enduring power of the human spirit, making him a beloved and inspirational figure in Chinese mythology. Nerja's relationship with his family was complex and often turbulent, particularly with his father. Li Jing, also known as the pagoda-bearing heavenly king, is a significant figure in Chinese mythology and the father of Nerja. He is often depicted as a stern and disciplined general who values order, tradition, and duty. Li Jing serves as a commander in the celestial army, and his authoritative nature often brings him into conflict with his rebellious son. 
Li Jing's relationship with Nerja is complex and fraught with tension. From Nerja's unusual birth, Li Jing struggled to understand and control his son's extraordinary nature. Initially, Li Jing perceived Nerja's powers and defiance as threats, leading to a series of confrontations between them. The tension between Li Jing and Nerja is evident from the beginning. Li Jing's strictness and adherence to traditional values often clash with Nerja's rebellious and independent spirit. This conflict reaches a peak when Nerja sacrifices himself to atone for the death of Ao Bing, the Dragon King's son. Li Jing's inability to accept Nerja's transformation and new form after his rebirth further strains their relationship. Despite their strained relationship, moments of deep care and concern emerge. Nerja's continuous acts of bravery and loyalty eventually earn his father's respect. One pivotal moment occurs when Nerja saves Li Jing from a powerful demon's ambush. This act of filial piety and heroism strikes a chord with Li Jing, gradually leading to a shift in his perception of Nerja. Over time, the walls of misunderstanding and fear between them begin to crumble replaced by mutual respect and a mended bond. Lady Yin, Nerja's mother, is depicted as a compassionate and nurturing figure. She plays a crucial role in providing emotional support to Nerja and mediating between him and his father. Lady Yin's love for her son is unconditional, and she often finds herself caught in the middle of the conflicts between Nerja and Li Jing. Lady Yin's relationship with Nerja is characterized by deep affection and understanding. She recognizes Nerja's unique nature and his potential for greatness, offering him the love and compassion he needs to navigate the complexities of his dual identity as both a divine being and a mortal son. From Nerja's birth, Lady Yin nurtures him with love and care, understanding that he is destined for extraordinary things. Her compassion and empathy provide Nerja with a sense of belonging and warmth even during the most challenging times. Lady Yin's support is crucial in helping Nerja cope with his struggles and responsibilities. She understands the deep love both father and son have for each other, despite their conflicts. Her efforts to protect Nerja and ensure his well-being highlight her role as a caring and devoted mother. But it was not only his parents, but also his siblings who played a vital role in shaping Nerja's complex character. Jinza is the eldest son of Li Jing and the elder brother of Nerja. He is a disciplined and righteous figure, often depicted as a dedicated follower of Taoist principles. Jinza is usually shown as a monk or a scholar, embodying wisdom and tranquility. Jinza's relationship with Nerja is generally portrayed as supportive yet cautious. Given his nature, Jinza often acts as a mediator and voice of reason within the family. Jinza often tries to guide Nerja offering advice and support. He understands Nerja's struggles and the burden of his divine responsibilities, providing a calming presence. Jinja sometimes finds himself mediating between Nerja and their father, Li Jing. His wisdom and calm demeanor help soothe tensions and foster understanding within the family. Jinja is protective of Nerja, especially when his younger brother faces conflicts with powerful adversaries. His support is more emotional and moral, helping Nerja stay grounded. Muza is the second son of Li Jing and the elder brother of Nerja. He is often depicted as a warrior monk, wielding a staff or spear. Muza is known for his martial prowess and dedication to justice, similar to Nerja but with a more disciplined and controlled demeanor. Muza's relationship with Nerja is characterized by a mix of camaraderie and guidance. As a fellow warrior, Muza shares a bond with Nerja over their martial abilities and dedication to fighting evil. They often fight side by side, facing various demons and adversaries together. This camaraderie strengthens their relationship. Muza often provides guidance and training to Nerja, helping him refine his combat skills and strategies. His disciplined approach to martial arts complements Nerja's more impulsive nature. Despite their differences, Muza and Nerja have a deep respect for each other's abilities and dedication to justice. Their shared experiences in battle forge a strong sibling bond. While Nerja's rebellious and impulsive nature often sets him apart from his siblings, 
the wisdom and discipline of his elder brothers provide a balancing influence. Jinja and Muja play crucial roles in helping Nerja navigate the complexities of his divine duties and personal struggles, offering emotional support, guidance, and camaraderie. Together, the brothers embody different aspects of righteousness and heroism, each contributing to the family's legacy in Chinese mythology. His siblings aside, Nerja's story is deeply rooted in his role as a protector, his filial piety, his conflicts with his father Li Jing, his youthful nature, and his battles against various demons and adversaries. Because of this, there is a clear absence of a consort or romantic partner and children in Nerja's traditional stories. However, this doesn't mean he didn't have a strong relationship with anyone outside his family. Taiyi Jinren, also known as Taiyi Taoist Master, is a revered immortal and a significant figure in Chinese mythology. He is a Taoist sage and one of the prominent mentors in the mythology, often depicted as a wise and benevolent figure. Taiyi Jinren plays a crucial role in Nerja's life, guiding him through his journey of growth and redemption. The relationship between Taiyi Jinren and Nerja is one of the most important and transformative aspects of Nerja's mythology. Taiyi Jinren acts as a mentor, father figure, and spiritual guide, helping Nerja navigate the complexities of his divine powers and responsibilities. Taiyi Jinren provides Nerja with the tools, wisdom, and training necessary to harness his divine powers. He teaches Nerja how to use his magical weapons, such as the Universe Ring and the Red Armillary Sash, and helps him develop his combat skills. As a Taoist sage, Taiyi Jinren offers spiritual guidance, helping Nerja understand the balance between his human emotions and divine responsibilities. His teachings emphasize the importance of righteousness, justice, and the greater good. After Nerja's self-sacrifice to atone for the death of Ao Bing, Taiyi Jinren takes pity on him and decides to intervene. Gathering lotus flowers and roots, Taiyi Jinren performs a powerful ritual to create a new body for Nerja, symbolizing purity and renewal. This act of compassion not only brings Nerja back to life, but also strengthens the bond between mentor and student. Taiyi Jinren's act of crafting a new body for Nerja from the lotus flowers and roots is a pivotal moment in Nerja's story. It symbolizes Nerja's second chance at life and his commitment to justice and protection. This rebirth marks a turning point in Nerja's journey, highlighting the transformative power of Taiyi Zhenren's mentorship. Throughout Nerja's trials and challenges, Taiyi Zhenren provides unwavering emotional support. He understands Nerja's struggles and offers encouragement, helping him stay focused on his path of righteousness. Taiyi Zhenren's relationship with Nerja goes beyond that of a typical mentor. He acts as a father figure, especially during times of conflict between Nerja and his biological father, Li Jing. Taiyi Zhenren's guidance and care help fill the emotional void in Nerja's life, providing him with the stability and love he needs to grow. Under his guidance, Nerja transforms from a rebellious and impulsive youth into a disciplined and respected deity. Taiyi Jinren's teachings instill in Nerja a deep sense of duty, justice, and compassion, shaping him into the hero and protector he is destined to become. Numerous tales highlight Nerja's courage and strength, from his battles against powerful demons to his rebellious defiance against unjust authority, showcasing him as an indispensable force in Chinese mythology. Let us dive deeper into the lore of Nerja. Nerja kills the Dragon King's son. One sweltering summer day, Nerja, seeking relief from the heat, made his way to the cool, inviting waters of the East Sea. The sun beat down on the earth, but the waves of the sea promised refreshment and play. Nerja, with his characteristic exuberance, leaped into the water, splashing and creating ripples that reached far and wide. Unbeknownst to Nerja, his playful antics were causing havoc in the underwater kingdom of Ao Guang the mighty Dragon King of the East Sea. The once peaceful realm beneath the waves was now in turmoil. Schools of fish scattered, and aquatic plants swayed violently as Nerja's energy disrupted the natural order. Ao Bing, the Dragon King's third son, 
rose from the depths to confront the source of the disturbance. With scales that shimmered like polished jade and eyes that burned with indignation, Ao Bing approached Nerja. Who dares to disrupt the peace of our kingdom? He demanded, his voice echoing through the waters. Nerja, startled but unafraid, faced Ao Bing. I am Nerja, son of General Li Jing. I did not mean to cause harm. I was only playing, he replied, his tone a mix of apology and defiance. Ao Bing, however, was not appeased. Your play has caused chaos in our realm. You must pay for this insolence, he roared, advancing on Nerja. A fierce battle ensued, the likes of which had never been seen. Nerja, though young, was skilled and powerful. He summoned the Universe Ring and the Red Armillary Sash, wielding them with precision and strength. Ao Bing countered with his own formidable powers, commanding the water and summoning storms. The clash between them was intense. Waves surged, and lightning crackled as their powers collided. Despite Ao Bing's might, Nerja's agility and divine weapons gave him the upper hand. In a moment of self-defense, Nerja struck a fatal blow. Ao Bing fell, his life extinguished by the young warrior. The death of Ao Bing sent shockwaves through the underwater kingdom and the mortal world. The once clear waters turned somber, and the sea creatures mourned their prince. Nerja, realizing the gravity of his actions, felt a deep pang of guilt. He had defended himself, but the consequences were dire. Sacrifice and Rebirth The Dragon King Ao Guang, consumed with grief and fury, emerged from his underwater palace. His eyes blazed with anger as he demanded justice. Li Jing's son must pay for this crime, he thundered, his voice carrying across the land and sea. Nerja's family and their village were thrown into turmoil. The Dragon King's wrath was relentless, and the threat of retribution loomed large. To save his family and the innocent villagers from the Dragon King's vengeance, Nerja made a heart-wrenching decision. In a profound act of sacrifice, Nerja approached his parents. Father, mother, I must atone for my actions. I cannot let our family and the village suffer because of me, he said, his voice steady but filled with sorrow. With a final tearful farewell, Nerja took his own life. Using his sword, he cut his flesh and bones and offered it to his parents as a symbol of his filial piety and remorse. His mother, Lady Yin wept uncontrollably, while his father Li Jing stood in stunned silence, grappling with the loss and the sacrifice of his son. But Nerja's story did not end in despair. His mentor, Taiyi Jenren, who had watched over Nerja since his birth, took pity on him. Moved by Nerja's selflessness and bravery, Taiyi Jenren decided to intervene. Gathering lotus flowers, symbols of purity and renewal, Taiyi Jenren began a powerful ritual. With great care and skill, he crafted a new body for Nerja from the delicate petals. The lotus flowers glowed with a divine light as they took form, embodying Nerja's spirit and essence. Through Taiyi Jenren's magical prowess, Nerja was reborn. He emerged from the lotus flowers, stronger and more powerful than before. His new body, imbued with the purity of the lotus, symbolized his rebirth and his renewed commitment to justice and protection. Reborn, Nerja returned to the mortal world, ready to continue his fight against evil and uphold the values he held dear. His sacrifice and rebirth became a testament to his resilience and the transformative power of redemption. Nerja, now more determined than ever, embraced his role as a divine protector, his spirit unyielding and his heart pure. Nerja and the Four Heavenly Kings one of Nerja's most significant and challenging battles was against the Four Heavenly Kings, powerful deities who ruled over the Four Cardinal Directions. These kings, tasked with maintaining order and balance in the world, viewed Nerja's rebellious actions and growing influence as a potential threat to the cosmic equilibrium. The Four Heavenly Kings decided to take action. They convened and agreed to send their armies to capture Nerja and bring him to justice. Each king commanded vast legions of celestial warriors, equipped with formidable weapons and divine powers. The armies marched, their footsteps echoing like thunder as they approached Nerja's domain. Nerja, upon learning of the impending assault, prepared for battle. 
He understood the gravity of the situation and the formidable power of his adversaries. Yet, his spirit remained unyielding. He strapped on his windfire wheels, grasped the universe ring and red armillary sash, and faced the approaching armies with unwavering resolve. The battlefield was soon engulfed in chaos. Nerja's divine weapons clashed with the celestial forces, creating a spectacle of light and energy. The sky darkened, and the earth trembled as Nerja fought against overwhelming odds. His agility and combat skills allowed him to hold his ground, fending off wave after wave of attacks. The four heavenly kings, witnessing Nerja's resilience, decided to intervene directly. Each king brought forth their unique powers, hoping to subdue the defiant warrior. The East King summoned storms, the South King unleashed fire, the West King manipulated the earth, and the North King controlled the winds. Together, they created a maelstrom of elemental fury aimed at Nerja. Undeterred, Nerja called upon his own divine abilities. He harnessed the power of his weapons and his indomitable spirit to counter the elemental onslaught. The battle raged on, with Nerja demonstrating extraordinary strength and determination. His actions were not just a display of power, but a testament to his commitment to justice and his willingness to challenge even the highest authorities for what he believed was right. In a final, decisive move, Nerja channeled all his energy into a single, overwhelming attack. The blast of divine power dispersed the elemental forces and forced the four heavenly kings to retreat. They recognized Nerja's strength and the righteousness of his cause, choosing to withdraw and reconsider their stance. This battle marked a turning point in Nerja's journey. It showcased his growing power and his ability to stand against the mightiest of foes. More importantly, it solidified his role as a champion of justice, willing to fight against any threat no matter how formidable. Nerja's victory against the four heavenly kings became a legendary tale, inspiring others to stand up for justice and challenge tyranny, no matter the odds. Nerja and the Jade Emperor Nerja's fame as a fearless warrior and protector of the innocent spread far and wide. However, his rebellious nature and unconventional methods did not sit well with all. His actions eventually drew the attention of the Jade Emperor, the supreme ruler of heaven. The Jade Emperor, concerned with maintaining order and tradition, found Nerja's defiance and disruptive behavior troubling. Deciding that Nerja needed to be subdued, the Jade Emperor dispatched a group of celestial warriors to capture him. These warriors, armed with heavenly weapons and divine authority, believed their mission would be swift and straightforward. However, they underestimated Nerja's resolve and ingenuity. When the celestial warriors arrived, Nerja was ready. He faced them with a calm but determined demeanor. I will not be subdued by force, he declared. If you seek to capture me, you will have to prove your worth. A fierce battle ensued. The celestial warriors, though formidable, found themselves matched by Nerja's agility and combat prowess. Using his windfire wheels, Nerja darted around them with incredible speed, evading their attacks while launching his own with the Universe Ring and Red Armillary Sash. The battlefield became a blur of light and energy as Nerja outmaneuvered and outsmarted his opponents. The celestial warriors, despite their divine might, could not overcome Nerja's skill and determination. One by one they fell, either subdued or forced to retreat. Nerja's victory was not just a display of power, but also a statement of his unwavering spirit and commitment to his own sense of justice. News of Nerja's triumph reached the Jade Emperor, who was both impressed and troubled. Realizing that brute force would not sway Nerja, the Jade Emperor decided to confront him directly. Summoning Nerja to the Heavenly Court, the Jade Emperor prepared to address the defiant warrior. Standing before the Jade Emperor, Nerja showed no fear. He bowed respectfully, but held his head high. Great Jade Emperor, I do not seek to defy your authority. I only fight for justice and to protect those who cannot protect themselves, he stated firmly. The Jade Emperor, seeing the sincerity and strength in Nerja's eyes, paused. He recognized that Nerja's actions, though unconventional, stemmed from a noble cause. After a moment of contemplation, the Jade Emperor spoke. Nerja, your spirit is strong and your cause just. 
Though your methods are unorthodox, your heart is true. You have earned my respect. With those words, the tension between Nerja and the Jade Emperor began to ease. Nerja's defiance had not been an act of rebellion against authority, but a testament to his unwavering commitment to justice. The Jade Emperor, acknowledging this, granted Nerja a place among the Divine Warriors, solidifying his role as a protector and champion of the innocent. Nerja in the Journey to the West Nerja's adventures continued in the epic tale Journey to the West, one of the greatest works of Chinese literature. This legendary story recounts the journey of the monk Xuanzang and his disciples as they travel to India to obtain sacred Buddhist scriptures. Alongside Sun Wukong, the monkey king, Zhu Bajie, the pig demon, and Sha Wu Jing, the river ogre, Nerja played a crucial role in their quest. The journey was fraught with peril, and the pilgrims faced numerous demons, monsters, and supernatural threats. Nirja's martial prowess and strategic mind were invaluable in these battles. His arrival often marked a turning point in the fight against the various adversaries they encountered. One of the most memorable encounters occurred when the group faced the Bull Demon King, a formidable opponent with immense strength and magical abilities. The Bull Demon King had captured Xuanzang, intending to devour him. Sun Wukong and the others tried to rescue their master, but found themselves outmatched. Nerja, hearing of their plight, flew to their aid on his windfire wheels. Upon arriving, he immediately assessed the situation and formulated a plan. With a combination of speed, agility, and tactical brilliance, Nerja launched a series of coordinated attacks on the Bull Demon King. His universe ring and red armillary sash glowed with divine energy as he struck with precision. The battle was intense, with the Bull Demon King unleashing powerful blows and magical spells. However, Nerja's determination and divine strength proved too much for the demon. With a final, decisive move, Nerja bound the Bull Demon King with his red armillary sash, rendering him powerless. This victory not only saved Xuanzang, but also reinforced Nerja's reputation as an unstoppable force for good. Throughout the journey, Nerja's presence bolstered the morale of the group. His bravery and unwavering commitment to righteousness inspired his companions and earned him their deep respect. Whether battling underwater demons, outsmarting trickster spirits, or navigating treacherous landscapes, Nerja's contributions were indispensable. Nerja's interactions with Sun Wukong were particularly notable. Both warriors shared a rebellious streak and a disdain for oppressive authority. Their camaraderie and mutual respect grew as they fought side by side, forming a bond that transcended their differences. Nerja's strategic mind complemented Sun Wukong's raw power and cunning intellect, making them a formidable duo against any foe. By the end of their journey, Nerja had proven himself not just as a warrior, but as a true protector of the innocent and a champion of justice. His actions in Journey to the West solidified his place in the hearts of those he fought alongside and those he saved. His martial prowess, strategic brilliance, and unwavering commitment to righteousness left an indelible mark on their epic quest. Nerja is widely revered in Chinese culture, particularly in regions like Taiwan and Southeast Asia, where his influence and legacy remain strong. The worship of Nerja is marked by vibrant festivals, traditional rituals, and heartfelt prayers, all of which celebrate his heroic deeds and seek his blessings. Festivals dedicated to Nerja are grand and lively events that draw large crowds. One of the most significant celebrations is the birthday festival of Nerja, which takes place on the 13th day of the sixth lunar month. During this festival, Communities come together to honor Nerja through various activities and performances. Lion dances and dragon dances are integral parts of Nerja's festivals. These traditional dances are performed to vibrant music, with dancers donning elaborate costumes that represent lions and dragons. The lion dance symbolizes power, wisdom, and good fortune, while the dragon dance represents strength and prosperity. These performances are believed to bring blessings and drive away evil spirits, paying homage to Nerja's protective nature. Reenactments of Nerja's heroic deeds are another highlight of these festivals. 
Performers recreate famous battles and stories from Nurja's life, such as his fight against the Dragon King's son Ao Bing and his confrontation with the Yaksha. These reenactments serve both as entertainment and as a way to keep Nurja's legacy alive, allowing new generations to learn about and be inspired by his bravery and righteousness. In addition to public celebrations, many devotees engage in private rituals and prayers to honor Nirja. Temples dedicated to Nirja are common, where worshippers light incense, offer food and drink, and pray for his protection and blessings. Nirja is particularly venerated as a guardian of children. Parents often pray to Nirja to watch over their children, protect them from harm, and grant them strength and courage. Nirja is also invoked by those facing challenges or seeking justice. His rebellious spirit and unwavering commitment to righteousness resonate with individuals who are struggling against adversity or fighting for a just cause. Prayers to Nirja are heartfelt and sincere, asking for his guidance, strength, and protection. Throughout these practices, the worship of Nirja is a testament to his enduring influence and the deep respect he commands. His festivals and rituals not only celebrate his heroic deeds, but also reinforce the values he stands for. Bravery, justice, and the protection of the innocent. By honoring Nirja, his followers continue to draw inspiration from his story, striving to embody the same virtues in their own lives. The vibrant and diverse ways in which Nirja is celebrated reflect the rich cultural heritage and the profound impact he has had on Chinese mythology and society. His legacy lives on through these rituals, festivals, and prayers, keeping his spirit and teachings alive for generations to come. Nirja's story is one of courage, resilience, and the power of redemption. From his miraculous birth to his battles against powerful foes and his ultimate journey toward redemption, Nirja remains a beloved figure in Chinese mythology. His tales continue to inspire and captivate, reminding us of the enduring power of justice and the strength of the human spirit. As the tales of Nir Jha echo through the annals of time, they remind us of the eternal struggle between good and evil, the importance of courage, and the possibility of redemption. Nir Jha, the divine child warrior, stands as a beacon of hope and justice, his legacy etched in the hearts of those who seek inspiration and strength. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. What did you think? Did I miss any details? Let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome to the channel. I hope I earned a like and subscription in your eyes. If not, that's okay. I'll keep making videos until I do earn it. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly appreciate all the views, likes, subscriptions, and kind words and messages. Without you, this channel wouldn't be here today. That's it for now. I hope to see you all in the next one.